Hey, hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here before you with another hair video. As y'all can see, my daughter Ariana has successfully helped me blow dry my hair. However, things didn't go as planned. I was supposed to come right back the next day and grease my scalp with you guys, but things happen, right? But after wearing a ponytail, a little bit of gel that I have washed off, I'm now ready to actually grease my scalp. And y'all, I've been using the Suffer 8 Scalp Therapy. And the problem that I had before with the dandruff, the itchiness, the dryness, uh, all of that's gone. Like the sensitivity, all of that has resolved itself. And y'all know I, I tried everything. Nothing has changed on my end except for using Scalp Therapy by Suffer 8. Y'all know I reviewed that on my channel before because I wanted to try it to see how it was in comparison to the regular Suffer 8. Now, as far as growth, I didn't see or at least it didn't appear to have the same effect as the original Suffer 8. But as far as soothing and calming the scalp with that actual being the intent of the product, I give it two thumbs up. So what I'm going to do is I got all my stuff aches today and we're just going to put them all in my head and I'm just going to see, you know, which one does better with what is intended, which is scalp relief, irritation, dryness, dandruff, all those things that I said I didn't have a problem and it's almost like, <laughs> be careful what you say, right? <laughs> or never say never because... Since being pregnant, that has been my main concern. My scalp has been super duper sensitive. So after going in with a Palmas Cocoa Butter Therapy um, Vita Grow, y'all know that's that's good too. I did a review on that and it definitely softens up your hair and helps your hair to be more manageable. I'm going to go in with the Suffer 8 Fresh. This is the one that has successfully eliminated the Suffer odor and it actually has or is promoted to have the cooling sensation. And to have some extra goodies as far as like good butters for your hair and your scalp. And listen, y'all, this stuff is bomb.com. Now, I don't, again, because <laughs> I did use it in a mix. I used it with my regular Suffer 8 and I believe it helped. However, as far as standing alone and seeing if it actually grows hair, I would say in my experience, the growth is not as evident with the Suffer 8 Fresh as it is with the Suffer 8 Original. But again, because it's not catered or it does not market to grow hair, it's market to actually cool and stimulate your scalp. And that it does. This one out of all the four that I have that I'm going to use in my hair before you, this one gives a instant cooling relief. Um, it takes away the scalp irritation or sensitivity. I haven't had dandruff when I was using this. And... It's just overall some a really good product. And as y'all can see, I can now evenly comb through my hair without any problems. And that is thanks to the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Vita Grow from the Lint Retention Line. Well, no, the Lint Retention Line. Yeah, for Lint Retention Line is where that one is. Because I got two. I got the coconut one and I got the Lint Retention one. But um, as y'all can see back here, when I split my hair towards the middle, middle I actually have some dandruff. And like I said, this is coming from someone that normally doesn't get dandruff. And all of a sudden, here it is. But we're going to take care of it because it's not like I don't have what I need. Because I told y'all, I'm not about to go back and forth in the stores and buy a whole bunch of products. That is pointless to me. I have stuff. I'm going to use up what I have. So that's what I'm doing. So again, I split my hair into sections. No water because the Palmer's Cocoa Butter butter does not require water. It says on dry hair on do not wet hair and y'all i showed y'all i tried it with wet hair without reading because i you know reading is fundamental that was my mistake but then i actually let my hair be dry and came back and used it and as you can see it softens and as adds moisture to your hair without you having to apply water which is very rare when it comes to butter and grease in my experience speaking for myself <laughs> Because we all know we got to say to each his own because people get offended. But I said, as for me and my experience, it is a very creamy, rich butter that definitely helps you to separate and manipulate your hair into whatever desire you please. And it worked. And as far as my scalp, 
it's not designed or catered specifically for the scalp, but it's not harmful to your scalp because y'all know most butters will go ahead and say apply it to roots or from scalp to end. But in my case, y'all know that if I'm going to put anything on my scalp, it needs to either soothe my scalp or help promote growth. That's just me. I'm not just going to put a product on my scalp just because it says so, because all products aren't created equal and they all don't do the same thing. But as y'all can see, as I continue you know, moving my hair. Like I said, I'm in different sections um, as far as applying my product and the suffragettes that I have. And y'all know, like I said, I started out with the uh, suffragette fresh. Then I move on to the suffragette light formula. Then the suffragette um, scalp therapy again. And then finally, I'm coming back in with another original suffer eight y'all know that like i said i have all of them i have the blue i have the light formula is what it is the light and then and right now i'm just pretty much because y'all had to do a voiceover because it got pretty long y'all <laughs> pretty much i'm just letting you guys know that i was already feeling evident of the suffer eight first like i said out of all the ones that i have that one tends to give an immediate relief and immediate coolness and that's how it's market like fresh smells better feels better and like i said i definitely give it two thumbs up and it definitely does what is promoted and market and y'all know regular stuff eight will give your scalp a tingle too but the fresh is that sensation times 10 and it lasts like even right now as i'm doing this voice over a whole nother day later i still have that relief on that particular section of my hair Versus the other locations where I felt like almost like I didn't even put anything on, which I know I did. And y'all see that I did, but that's just what it is. But again, y'all know that we went through this whole thing where we did suffer eight a lot. And I just felt like the scalp just said, okay, been there, done that. And that's kind of like how we are too. Like we had something so much. It's like, okay, what else you got? But that suffer eight fresh that you can find at Walmart in the hair stores and i believe it's like six or seven dollars the scalp therapy is probably the most expensive wait let me see all right let me think right quick because i want to get y'all the right thing all right so let's start from the application of the lint retention beta grow that is eight dollars 7.99 then the suffer eight scalp therapy i believe is like 7.99 as well or it might, it might even be a little bit more. It might be eight and some change. Then the Suffer 8 Fresh will be the next expensive. I believe that's $7 or six and some change. Then you have the Suffer 8 Original and the Suffer 8 Lite. The Suffer 8 Lite is less expensive a tad bit than the Suffer 8 Original, but just by some change. Overall, in the sense of product value and what you get versus what you buy, it's a really good deal. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the word affordable or expensive, which is kind of tricky because you really don't know what people's pockets are. But when it comes to like elite or prestige hair products, we're talking about $25, $30 for like a hair serum or whatever the case. So I look at it like this. Anything that you can generally pick up possibly from your local drugstore or Walmart will probably be deemed as affordable to the average because obviously, you know, like I said for myself, like I, that whole line of the scalp therapy is eight dollars from change a piece. So just imagine me like buying all of that, and even with the lint retention line, I told you guys that um, I was in there saying, okay, I'm gonna just try one product at a time because that was in budget. But hubby was nice enough to say, go ahead and get it, invest in you know the channel and my product reviews, and you have to appreciate stuff like that because money doesn't come easy around here. So I just thank God for any opportunity that I get to review products, to purchase products, because it's, it's not as common for me as maybe a YouTuber who actually works. Because even um, in the beginning of me starting my channel, you know, I had funds coming in. I had uh, my unemployment that was coming in. So every dollar counts, y'all. So hey, that's why I said I just slow down on even getting stuff for real. <laughs> but um. Yep, I'm going in this middle with the stuff eight fresh because y'all, like I said, out of all of these, I felt this initially like the fastest and this the feeling lasts the longest. And it's a really good cool sensation. 
it definitely feels like it's a calm in my scalp and I just you know that moment where you just like okay I done made my mind that I'm gonna finish this jar like this is gonna be the next time I grease my scalp I'm just gonna go ahead with that one but anyway all this thickness child <laughs> Shout out to pregnancy, and it's so interesting to me because two years later, you know, God has fully helped restore my hair. I just thank God for that. A lot of trial, a lot of error, a lot of figuring out, you know, what to do, how to do. Like you just, you just end up saying, okay, God, what you want me to do? And out of it came my oil, my butters, and my grease, and doing a whole lot of research. But y'all tell me what y'all think about these, and of course, I'm showing y'all where I use it, where in case you missed it, because I was talking too much. Um, on which section or which side of the hair that I was using the product. So again, tell me what you think about using multiple of these at one time. Would you dare? Would you mix them together? Let me know in the comment section. All right, y'all. That's pretty much it for me. I absolutely love y'all. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye.